Collision Course, A Comet Heads for Mars, presented by Science at NASA. Over the years, the spacefaring nations of Earth have sent dozens of probes and rovers to explore Mars. Today, there are three active satellites circling the red planet, while two rovers, solar-powered Opportunity and nuclear-powered Curiosity, wheel across the red sands below. Mars is dry, barren, and apparently hauntingly lifeless. Soon those assets could find themselves exploring a very different kind of world. There is a small but non-negligible chance that Comet 2013A1 will strike Mars next year, in October of 2014, says Don Yeomans of NASA's Near-Earth Object Program at JPL. Current solutions put the odds of impact at 1 in 2,000. The nucleus of the comet is probably 1 to 3 kilometers in diameter, and it is coming in fast, around 56 kilometers per second, 125,000 miles per hour. If it does hit Mars, it would deliver as much energy as 35 million megatons of TNT, estimates humans. For comparison, the asteroid strike that ended the dinosaurs on Earth 65 million years ago was about three times as powerful, 100 million megatons. Another point of comparison is the meteor that exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, in February of 2013, damaging buildings and knocking people down. The Mars comet is packing 80 times more energy than that relatively puny asteroid. An impact wouldn't necessarily mean the end of NASA's Mars program, but it would transform the program, along with Mars itself. I think of it as a giant climate experiment, says Michael Meyer, lead scientist for the Mars Exploration Program at NASA headquarters. An impact would loft a lot of stuff into the Martian atmosphere, dust, sand, water, and other debris. The result could be a warmer, wetter Mars than we're accustomed to today. Meyer worries that solar-powered opportunity might have a hard time surviving if the atmosphere became opaque. Nuclear-powered curiosity, though, would carry on just fine. He also notes that Mars orbiters might have trouble seeing the surface, for a while at least, until the debris begins to clear. A direct impact remains unlikely. Paul Chodas of NASA's Near-Earth Object Program stresses that a 1 in 2,000 chance of impact means there's a 1,999 in 2,000 chance of no impact. A near miss is far more likely, he points out. Even a near miss is a potentially big event. The latest orbit solutions put the comet somewhere within 300,000 kilometers of the red planet at closest approach. That means Mars could find itself inside the comet's gassy, dusty atmosphere. Visually, the comet would reach zeroth magnitude. That is, a few times brighter than a first magnitude star as seen from the Red Planet. Cameras on all of NASA's spacecraft currently operating at Mars should be able to take photographs of Comet 2013A1, says Jim Bell, a planetary scientist and Mars imaging specialist at Arizona State University. Researchers will be keenly interested to see how the comet's atmosphere interacts with the atmosphere of Mars. For one thing, there could be a meteor shower. Another possibility is Martian auroras. Unlike Earth, which has a global magnetic field that wraps around our entire planet, Mars is only magnetized in patches. Here and there, magnetic umbrellas sprout out of the ground, creating a crazy quilt of magnetic poles concentrated mainly in the southern hemisphere. Ionized gases hitting the top of the Martian atmosphere could spark auroras in the canopies of the magnetic umbrellas. NASA is sending a new spacecraft to Mars to study the dynamics of the Martian atmosphere. MAVEN is scheduled to launch in November 2013 and would reach Mars just a few weeks before the comet in 2014. However, MAVEN's principal investigator Bruce Joukowsky of the University of Colorado notes that the spacecraft won't be fully operational and ready to observe the comet when it reaches Mars. It takes a while to get into our science mapping orbit, he explains, but, he adds, there are some effects that I would expect to linger for a relatively long period, especially if the comet hits Mars, and we will be able to observe those changes. Astronomers around the world are monitoring 2013A1. Every day, new data arrive to refine the comet's orbit. As the error bars shrink, Yeomans expects a direct hit to be ruled out. The odds favor a flyby, not a collision, he says. Either way, this is going to be good.
Stay tuned for updates as the comet approaches at science.nasa.gov.